typically what we recommend here is that your data set would be in a controlled environment. So while you might have a CRM that manages all of your data for all of your customers, you probably would want to keep your, your employee data in a separate database. And what's great about that is uh, keeping this logical separation of this data prevents any kind of weird mishap where a marketing team might overlap with an internal communications team, accidentally deploy the wrong kind of a campaign to the wrong audience. If you think about what has happened to a lot of businesses over the last few years, there's been what started out as a almost a forced remote work environment for so many businesses that are out there that then became sort of a natural state where employees and and actually employers also are agreeing that, hey, remote work is actually a good thing in a lot of cases. And of course there are struggles with, you know, should you go fully remote? Should you go hybrid? What should you do? But what's really happened here is you've got disconnected employees and you've got employers that are losing the power that they had to control the culture. If the people aren't around one another every day, if they are absorbing your atmosphere, if they aren't around uh, the energy that you've created in your work environment, it gets a lot harder to maintain a brand. It gets a lot harder to create loyalty amongst your employees. So how can we leverage marketing communications and marketing automation to effectively communicate and help us hang on to or grow our relationship with our employees so that we have this great culture um, and we still have the advantages of a remote work environment. We talk about some of the use cases for marketing automation and some of it is automated. In fact, campaigns that are set to trigger when they are, but there's also some great value in just being able to communicate on demand when you need. So let's say there's crisis communication. We don't want that to happen, but it does happen and it can happen. How could you quickly and effectively communicate with your team members? Email is a good way to do it. SMS is probably a better way to do it. Um, you know, we would recommend that you set up a, a system where as you onboard a new team member, they are opting in to say, yeah, absolutely. It's okay for my company to communicate with me through text messaging because you can really get effective, um, very quick communications out to uh, communication elements out to your team members. Mm -hmm.